pretty straight away is the steepest the bank in the fastest track in NASCAR. But unlike its sister here, track at Daytona, to the Talladega start finish line and is not in the, in the middle of this big looping trioval at what would be the center of pit road. It's all the way down past the pit exit, all the way down toward turn one. And that makes for some really different finishes. It does. Every time we come here, it's a game changer. Flags in the air. We're going racing, folks. Biggity, biggity, biggity. Let's go racing, boys. Big gap opened up by the 24, and the three was able to sneak in between him and the 88. But now here comes a big push from the 20 on the outside of Matt Kenseth. The yeah, three is going to get caught in the middle in the sucker hole already. I mean, that was just should have stayed with the 24. Well, that's just a know. rookie. I think that's a rookie. And it's I don't know if anybody's going to go with Matt Kenseth out there. They're thinking about it. I think the three should have just stayed where he was. I, I know he thought the 20 had a run on him and should have stayed where he was. 20 comes down the side draft off the three. Matt Kenseth trying to make something happen in that yellow Toyota on the outside as Chase Elliott leads the first lap. You know what I love? We didn't even make a lap. There were three laps in the go. And now these cars will begin to get up to full speed with the first record. Just like they told him, Chase Elliott on the post leads laps one to get up to full speed. Check out yeah, I think he was really hoping Larry to get up on both of his teammates of Hill and Hunt Jr. and Jimmy Johnson lined up behind him so they could get in line and take off and control this race, but that's not exactly the way it went. No, the three and the 24 really jumped out there to a nice little lead and not let the field get on the right now, I mean, the middle may come in later, but right now it's just not the place to be. And by that three jumping out there, it now opened up that opportunity for all three Hendrick teammates to be right there, one, two, and three, so it didn't start off as a good plan. It's worked out pretty good. Front six, single file. Kane and Dillon side by side. Bain in the six, he helping Kane in the five, and three wide for the back. Points for Mike, one thing to watch is the side grab. Well, the ten you get right down on the chase for the championship. Those drivers are highlighted. You get right down on the yellow. door, but then on the straightaway, the you kind of spread out a little bit, put a little room between you and that car you're side grab can win. I'm bored with Tony. I think this is where You're that urgency that you talked about, Mike, is going to come into play car. because while those up front, draft like being single file about, and in control of this race, those nice that are further right back, They'll they need to get there. They know the that goes on. they don't have the amount of time they typically have here at Talladega because they know that that rain is looming. Matt Yoakum. I, Bill, when you, you talk know, to Cooper about the side draft there real quickly, I, I, I think on the straightaway you want to separate you yourself a little he bit can from run the car anywhere. that you're beside. He's the but in the turn, you have to get right down on that guy's door. Yeah, in the front line now, he's got his teammate the right rear quarter panel of that car that you're next to and dump the air over to the rear spoiler and inside that fender wheel, you're going to pull that car back. That's what we call a side draft. But as you come off the corner, you want to widen out and create a gap to keep that momentum going for yourself and hopefully keep dragging that car back we're that's beside you. It's an art, and it, and it takes practice, and I'm not real sure the three cars track. off when they did it just exactly right from the start of that race. To do it today, to do it because the 88, Brian Blaney up five positions from his 17th starting spot. Chase Elliott leads Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Jimmy Johnson around Talladega. But they wonder about the durability. That's why they have them. Matt taking a page from Jokic's racing. Game plan at Daytona. Dale Earnhardt Jr. told Jeff Gordon on the pace. He wants to win the race. He wants to win the race. When his teammates do this event. In fact, he told his spotter, T.J. Majors, to position himself the back on the, the spotter stand near Eddie DeHunt, the 2014 spotter, the to help right next with to that messaging. Martin, Matt. His longtime racing friend, Mark Rusty, told me that the Penske Plate program has really stepped it up this year. He's trying to take advantage of it his final as Fisher Plate Racer today. He told me he doesn't want to be in the middle of the pack. First choice, obviously the front, second choice at the back, but he says anywhere from the middle I find middle that fascinating back, because if we go back to Daytona, it wasn't that long ago. On the opening laps, Dale Jr. was right in this exact same position behind Chase Elliott. They came through the trial, and he made a big move, got a, a big uh, surge of momentum from behind, and made and that pass on Chase Elliott and took the lead. He wanted to be in control. In they saw what uh, Joey GR did, and they told him how they dominated this race and won it. Jamie. And Chase so Elliott leading the field. He's in the same that car that sat down, on the pole for the last five restricted plate races. Line, now remember, he was caught up early in that wreck at Daytona. They told me that was a lesson they're glad they learned because today 
right, going down to turn one. They're going to take their time, and they want to finish hour. the race. And that is the goal, but so far, to the race has to flee. Yeah, I don't see another hand right now. Already, the air has to do with the air. 18 started all the way back to 17 spot. He's watching the game in the middle places here, and he's getting up there with his teammates. Now, Mike, this is right back to what we talked about at the beginning of this race. The left with the outside of the three, that's not the preferred line, but he really had the 78 behind him that more than likely would go with him. He made that move. Now he gets to move back down in front of the three car and hopefully bring the 78 with him. Sometimes what's three to one is an iron. Well, in between the green and the check was Bill, you've driven a car down the green. Right behind the three Chevrolet. Matt Kenseth, Denny Hamlin, and Truex. That's exactly what these cars feel like every foot around the street. The furniture of the operation is a satellite team of Joe Gibbs Racing. Those Gibbs cars are already teaming up. Joe Gibbs is the 20, the 11, the 78. They're all getting together. You know, they don't qualify as well as we've seen the Hendrick cars or some of the other Chevrolet's, but about, man, when they drop you know, the green guys flag, out to dry. Now, right these cars are so fast. Right now. He is we in can the bring two kind of cars in. You can, can see all these cars are here and it'll go pretty good up in each other right now. Somebody forgot to tell Danny Hamlin about, 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 about the Gibbs cars working together This is where you have to be really, really careful in this race, because when you're in that middle lane, someone will remind you. Maybe not the first time to be around you. Now, Jimmy Johnson has lost the draft from his teammates. Chase Elliott and, and Dale Earnhardt, Earnhardt Jr. And when you do that, you lose the momentum. Don't leave your seat and you won't miss a lap. The Geico 500, especially through the trial. Five. These cars are, like I said, they're not stuck to the race pack. It's like they look. It's, Thank it's, you for it's, signing it's, with us. Oh, oh, Hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh. Very rough. I got this. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's not as rough as some the places they race at. You can see the cars going through the bumps, but. A lot of it is the air. There. Mm -hmm. I can't reach it. If you have alligator arms, you avoid Alligators picking up the check. What? That's what, what you do. Ryan Newman moving inside of Jimmy Johnson. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. And it's what you do. The 17 car. And Newman would like those five bonus points for leading a lap as well, and so would Matt Kenza. Junior, Your name has been in a lot of places. Yeah, five-time Talladega winner, BP. But there's this only race one place. Totally you really want to see it. Two weeks ago, Friday, it has been to the wind tunnel in those two weeks, five times, getting ready for this one race. Looking to get deep in the eyes. Back up front. Alan, they talked about the guy who won the five bonus points. Matt Kendrick trying that high line to get those five bonus points. Going around Elliot Sadler. Sadler gets a little bit loose. But Matt said, I need the five bonus points. But today, I have the best combination of body, car, and engine I've ever had at a restrictor plate race. Not only can we win, we can lead much of this race. Thanks for coming today. How are you doing? Well, today's going to be pretty easy. Right I want each of you to grab a two leg paddle. You'll have two socks to choose from. Jimmy a power Johnson, sock or a hand sock. sock. This is 2016 Chevy Silverado. It offers the most powerful engine in its class. He received those five bonus points to lead in the lap. A contender in the chase for the next Hell Cup. We're going to take a break if trouble breaks out. And I'm on a mission to prove it's the best. I'm traveling the country and everyone that Sprint is faster than their network. And guess who's winning? The guy with the trailer, pull your stuff. I bet my...